when we agree to that model of monogamous marriage being the ideal, what we are effectively doing is we are cutting off all the women and the children that could have been under the protection of that man because that doesn't fit our life goals. Polygamy actually operates for the benefit of women and children because if one man can safely look after two, three or four women and have children with two, three or four women and run his family correctly, is that not better than him only having one wife? I I get this a lot from sisters and they say, okay, I understand why Allah made polygyny halal and permissible. However, I think it was more relevant back then. Today, it's less of the need basis and more of just pleasure or dunya related basis. What would you say to that? Tell that to the sisters who are in their 30s who haven't been able to find the husband of their own. Tell that to the sister who maybe were in a marriage, it did not work out, and now she's here by herself, full responsibility for two, three, four children with no man in her life. Young women in general think they are invincible. I don't need a man. Mm. Those are the ones you hear saying, I don't need no man. You wait until that sister is nearing the wall. You wait and listen to how the story changes.